Hello, I am Hélène Clément and I'm the viola player of the Doric String Quartet. Um, I am hugely looking forward to discovering new groups um, and their talent and curiosity. Also, I think, you know, it's been such a difficult two years um, for all musicians, but especially for, for chamber music groups. So I think uh, for young people to be able to be in a whole week all together, inspiring each other and taking that energy, I think there should be some real buzz around it. For me, the most important uh, thing is to get a, a group soul, really, um, to feel to feel something special, uh, to feel real conviction about their what they try to convey, and um, and real honesty in the playing. And by honesty, I mean being true to the score and to all the emotions um, you want to to give out that they they have some. Uh, grounds, I think, some roots. I think for me, Haydn and Mozart are always um, really great to see, you know, the creativity in a group, the way one can interact with each other and have fun and uh, really have that liveliness into a performance. Um, so I think that those, those composers can really tell a lot. I also think having a, a new piece, uh, the Sally Beamish, um, Written is quite a challenge because it makes groups have to really find what the piece is about by themselves and, you know, uh, create their own view of it. Uh, so that's really exciting. Having uh, inspiration from my colleagues, really, um, for pieces, it just never ends. Um, so there's always new fuel coming. And I think as individuals in a group grow and live and, you know, progress with their instruments and their musicality, the group also progresses um, and the pacing of it all is really quite fun. <laughs> I think it's the most fascinating, it certainly is a challenging life because one has to be so um, committed all the time and you know, it's tiring. <laughs> but I think also it's the most uh, fun and challenging way to experiment with music really. There's many nightmares, but I think for me, the worst thing to happen would be to, to, to break a string and, and to not have a replacement because one feels so silly. I haven't had that happen in a concert, but I have broken a string, two strings actually, uh, weirdly, the C and the, and the A string at the same time. It must have been something weird going on with the air. And it was just 45 minutes before a radio recording so I couldn't even go and buy buy some um, I felt so silly not having any and I had to call a luthier who put strings in an uber to deliver to where I was so it was hugely stressful um, I think it's it's really so easy as a group to get um, obsessed about quality and about perfection especially in an environment like this that can be stressful you know when you want to really please the jury and I think that's probably the last thing you should try and do to, to please. Um, I think you should really believe in who you are as a group and that will come, that will come, you know, uh, to us. It, it would really be felt and the, somehow the least careful you are about perfection, the more likely you are to actually play together <laughs> and fear won't get in the way and conviction is, is much more helpful.